Hey guys. So in front of me we have three different ring and pinion gear set options for the Axial AR60 solid axle. Comes in the Axial Yeti, the Wraith, and a couple of the other ones. I'm not 100% certain which other ones it comes in. It, it's in a lot of trucks though. Um, the first one here we have is the stock ready to run gear set. The second one is the upgraded steel gear set from Axial. And the third one is the incision steel gear set from Vanquish. I'd like to take a closer look at each one of these and kind of see what the differences are. And I really want to pay particular attention to this one because this is not steel. I don't know what it is. It's I thought it was aluminum at first. It's non-ferrous. It does not attract a magnet. I'll show you in a minute. I thought it was aluminum. Now that I feel it, it feels a little bit heavier than aluminum. I'm thinking zinc, possibly. If it is zinc, that means I can melt it with my propane torch, which we are going to try to do. And we'll take a look at the hardness of these. I'll, I'll run a file on this as well, but it's kind of ridiculous because it's not going to stand up to it very well. We'll check to see how hard these are, just against a normal uh, file. I don't have any hardness testing files, but we'll see if they're hardened. And we'll get a closer look at the, the quality of them. See if they are hobbed and machined, or if they are sintered. I think this one's going to be sintered. I think this one's going to be machined. The, there's, a, there's a debate as to whether or not the sintered is a lot weaker. In a case like this, it may not matter. We're also going to go and grab the microscope and we are going to take a look under that and just see how these things stack up against each other. First thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and move these two aside and take a look at this. This is the gear that comes, gear set that comes in the ready to run Axial Yeti and the Wraith I'm assuming and, and others I'm sure. It is interesting in that the ring gear, unlike even Axial's own upgraded ring gear, has these two pins. These two pins key into the drive section inside the housing and they actually add strength to the connection between this and this housing. My guess is those are there because this is such a cheap piece of crap that without them, these screw holes may rip out and may lead to failure. That's my guess with that because Axial's own upgrade doesn't have it, neither does Vanquish's incision upgrade. So obviously if you have a good piece of metal, it's not required. Let me go ahead and grab a file and I will also grab a magnet and we'll take a look and see how this thing stacks up. All right, so here's a magnet. You can see that with the Axial upgraded ring gear, it sticks. The Axial upgraded pinion, it sticks. Vanquish sticks. Vanquish sticks. Axial OEM, uh, ready to run. Nothing. Does not stick to it. This is not a ferrous metal. Now, the way that they have their pinion shaft is they have a steel shaft in the middle and it's held in with a circlip on the upgraded ones it's all one piece so this is steel but this is not let's take a file to it i also wanted to mention on the rear differential on my yeti i'll show you it when i do the upgrade these teeth you can see on here these teeth have a pretty decent little flat on them i've got about five packs through my yeti these teeth on and the rear differential are completely sharp. They're this the, the gear is almost completely worn out. I think that Axial has been making these this way because they can say it has all metal gears, but I honestly think that plastic would be better in some cases than this whatever this metal is. Like I said, I think it's zinc. So let's just run a file across it, see how hard it is. As you can see, cutting right into it, not a problem. Yeah, 
not not very hard. It's it's pretty soft. So non-magnetic, very soft. It's junk. Like I said, I think Axial makes these that way they can say that it has metal gears and then they're going to go ahead and expect you just to buy the upgrade. This is what should be in the trucks to begin with, not this garbage. All right, let's go ahead and look at Axial's upgraded ring and pinion. Pretty nice. Steel, obviously. Um, for I do see some machining on here. Um, I'm guessing that it is sintered and then machined, but it is a very nice piece of metal. It looks very well made. The pinion is also very nice, very well machined. This uh, shaft feels ground, which I like. Very nice. Now on to the incision gear by Vanquish. Looks very similar to Axial's upgraded gear. I like that it's black. I don't know. I think it looks nicer. Um, this does not look like it's made from a sintered piece of material like this one does. We'll, we'll know when we look at them under the microscope in just a minute. Here's the pinion. Also very nice. Very well made. Shaft is nice and smooth. Everything looks straight. Won't really know the mesh until I get them in the differential. And also, I'll do a follow-up on these to see how these things hold up. One of these is going in the front, one's going to go in the back. So, it won't be a direct comparison, but, you know, we'll be able to get a, a decent idea on it. All right, let me break out the microscope, and we will put each one of these underneath it and see how they compare to each other. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the Vanquish gear. This is going to be the ring gear. Get that in focus. Okay, so with the Vanquish gear, you can see that this is a fully machined gear. You can see the machine marks here. You can see the, the machine marks on the tops of the teeth. Flip it over. It's machined in the back. This is a 100% piece, machine piece of metal. And let's get a little bit closer into these teeth. Bear with me for a second here. Let's take a look down in the teeth and see how they look. Get the focus right. Come on. There we go. Okay, so up close you can see the machining isn't super smooth, but it's pretty good. The uh, face of the teeth look fairly nice. Um, you know, this is obviously highly magnified, so you're going to see some marks. It's, it's not the most beautiful gear I've ever seen, but It'll definitely do the job. I, I like that. I think that's a nice looking gear. Let's take a look at their pinion while we're at it. Oops. Alright. Same situation here. Fully machined. Looks very nice. Teeth are pretty clean. These have obviously been cleaned after they were machined. There's not a bunch of crap in them. Shaft looks good. Shaft has been ground a bit. A little rough, but it's okay. It'll work. This this is a nice piece of equipment for an RC car. Let's look at Axials. This is their upgraded steel part. Okay, see, if you look in here... Okay, there are some machine marks in here, but see the porosity of the metal? This is very obviously a sintered metal part. Um, let me look at it in contrast to the Vanquish one. See that? Let me go to the Vanquish. We can see that there's not that porosity in it. I don't think. It looks like there isn't to me. Over here you can see very obviously there's porosity. So this is a sintered metal part. There has been some machine work done to it afterwards. You can see if you look down in the gear teeth. I know that there's names for these. I don't know what they are, what the, the different parts are. But, okay, see how it's got that rough, kind of porous texture to it? That's, that's the hallmark of a sintered metal piece. So, this is a sintered metal piece. 
the Vanquish piece is a fully machined piece. I would take the fully machined piece over the centered metal piece pretty much any day. Let's look at the axial pinion. Okay, yet again, centered metal. Looks pretty good, fairly consistent. Let's look at the grind on here. Do a little focus action, wrong way. Um, I would say the grind is very similar to the Vanquish shaft. So this is definitely adequate. I think it'll last a good long time. It's a nicely made piece. You can see one little defect right down there in the root of that tooth. So, and you do get that when you have the, the centered powdered metal gears. So, but overall, pretty nice. Now, uh, let's pull in the ready to run gear from Axial. This is a brand new gear that's never been run. You can see clearly this is a cast part. This has been made in a mold, and then whatever metal this is, like I said, I think it's zinc. We'll find out when we try to melt it. Has been poured into this mold, and oh yeah, you can even see where the the um, sprues were for it that have been cut off. Look at the back. Same thing. This is a cast part. We'll look at the pinion as well. I didn't clean the grease off this, but once again, a cast part. Pretty ugly stuff. And like I said, these do not last very long. I honestly think that a plastic gear would last longer. Okay, let's put away the microscope. I'd like to take a quick look at the hardness of the Vanquish and the Axial upgrade, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I assume both of these will be hardened. Let's go ahead and take a look at the ring. We'll come back here in the back where it's a non-bearing area, and we'll just run this across. And I am making a mark, so it is hardened. Uh, it's not the hardest thing in the world, but it is hardened. Vanquish. That's hard. I'm not getting anywhere near getting into that. This. A little bit softer. Still hard. A little bit softer. But, okay, so both the Vanquish and the Axial upgrade gear are hardened. Like I said before, I think they'll both work pretty much equally well. I think the Vanquish gear is a nicer piece of material. I think it, uh, it's just sexier. So... Okay, so my recommendations. Obviously, you're not going to have this for very long because it's going to eat itself and destroy itself. Before it does that, get rid of it. Throw it away. Either one of these will be a good replacement. I think um, the Vanquish is a better deal. I got these Vanquish gears about the same price as these Axial gears are on eBay. I think I might have paid $1 or $2 more. I think they're a better gear, a better deal. Uh, we will do a follow-up and see how they hold up after some bashing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go out in the garage. I'm going to stick this thing in the vise, take the torch to it, see if it melts. Let's go have some fun. Okay, first of all, sorry for the mess and the lighting, but we've got a lot of things going out out here in the garage, and I don't normally film out here, but we've got the gear in the vise, and we've got a propane torch. Now, aluminum melts at about 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. Zinc melts at about half that. Propane torch burns much, much hotter than both those things. However, just a propane torch in air, it does take a while to melt aluminum. And I think we'll be able to tell, I'll be able to tell pretty easily if this is zinc or aluminum. Zinc will melt very readily under propane. Aluminum takes a little bit more effort. So let's see what happens. <laughs> See that? Let me get you around and take a look here. See the melt? 
That's zinc. That is not aluminum. Aluminum does not melt that fast. So these are zinc gears, which is a very soft metal. Certainly should not be used for a gear in any situation. So you can see, like I said, woefully inadequate. Certainly should not be used and is barely okay to call that metal, especially in a load-bearing gear train situation. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, like I said, sorry about the lighting and the, uh, the mess out here, but this is uh, a lot of stuff goes on out here. So, all right, well, coming up soon, we're going to be doing a bunch of stuff on that Yeti, and we're going to get some running videos. We're going to get back on the Franken Cub, which will be a lot of fun, I think. So, uh, please subscribe, and um, we'll see you soon. Okay, bye.